Hi, viewers, and welcome to Breaking Down Nigerian Pidgin English. My name remains Bafu. Today, we're going to talk about the simple past of the verb to be in English and Nigerian Pidgin English. The simple past tense is used when an action occurred and ended in the past. The action is not repetitive. Out of these three markers, be, they, and not, in Nigerian Pidgin English, the equivalent of verb to be in English, the marker they is the only one used as the verb to be equivalent was and were in the past in English. Today, we're going to, we're going to look at how sentences are formed with the verb to be in the past, in the affirmative, negative, and question forms in Nigerian Pidgin English. First, I have to mention that a new marker being is introduced to the past tense in Nigerian Pidgin English. We cannot form any past tense sentences without this crucial marker. Let's start with the affirmative. The structure of the affirmative is subject plus being plus they plus complement. Example, I've been they, I was. You been they, you were. He, she, it been they, he, she, it was. We been they, we were. Una been they, you were. Them been they, they were. Examples. I been day your house yesterday. I was at your house yesterday. She been day office when you come. She was at the office when you came. Then been day sleep when you call. They were sleeping when you called. We can observe that even if the last two sentences are in the past, the rest of the verbs in the examples like calm and call are in the present or base form. Please take note of that. Now let's go to the negative. The structure of the negative is subject plus being plus no plus they plus complement. Example, I be no day. I was not. You be no day. You were not. He or she be no day. He or she was not. We be no day. We were not. Una be no day. You were not. Then be no day. They were not. Examples. I be no day happy with you. I was not happy with you. She be no day joke with you. She was not joking with you. Una be no day class this morning. You were not in class this morning. Now let's go to the question form. The structure for the question form is subject plus being plus day plus complement and of course the question mark. The structure of the question form is always the same as the affirmative form. The only thing that changes is the intonation at the end of the question. Example. They've been their house when you come. Were they at home when you came? My pale been they watch TV. Was my dad watching TV? From the last example, we will conclude that, like in the present continuous tense that does not exist in Nigerian Pidgin English, the past continuous tense does not exist as well. The simple past actually serve both purposes. Guys, that is the simplification of Nigerian Pidgin English. And that brings us to the end of yet another program. I hope you have learned a thing or two. I believe you have learned a thing, a thing or two. If you have any question, please feel free. Send me this question in the comment below. I'll be glad to answer them.
Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep it locked on BDMP. My name remains Bafo. Peace is in. Bye.